In today's video, we're going over my top five favorite BMWs. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name is Josh. Make sure to go over and check me out over at JG Media over on Instagram. Today, like I mentioned, we're going over my top five favorite BMWs. Let's get started. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I currently own a 2015 M235i as well as an F30 320. I've been a BMW enthusiast for what seems like a while now and I've been wanting to make a video like this for also a while now going over some of the builds, some of the cars that have given me my most inspiration that has really just drive me to not only create this channel but you know build my cars and start diving into doing like maintenance and DIYs on my own. And these are five builds that I've just hold true to my heart that you know they're not just cars to me, they're more more of just like it's awesome to see the stories behind them it's also meeting the people behind the wheel so these five builds that I'm gonna go over are just five cars five people that I've not only met along the way and be able to some call friends that builds that have just given me inspiration to keep pushing forward keep building my car and to really make my car into hopefully one day the vision I have to be you know a one of one car for my own M235i so jumping right on in heading on over to Instagram the fifth car to start off this list, top five of my favorite BMWs, has got to be my good friend, my homie Mike, and his F22. Funny story, Mike and I go way back. We've lived down the street from each other for our whole entire lives. Mike and I actually both had E90s way back in the day, so it was like kind of cool to see how it's both progressed with the E90 into the F22. Honestly, the F22 is one of my favorite cars, being that this car is honestly what inspired me to go get my 235i. Mike got his his F22 back in 2014 he got a demo car from BMW in mineral gray metallic I've always loved that color some sweet photos that I actually took for him right here so I've always loved this car and then seeing it over over time being that Mike and I lived down the street from each other for so long I just fell in love with it as well and this was truly the car that inspired me to get my 235i so Mike I appreciate you for getting yours and that inspiration is what you know drove me to get mine and I'm super appreciative of that I absolutely love the mineral gray metallic Mike's car is an absolute beast and I just truly absolutely love the two series as you guys can tell. Number four on the list has got to be another good friend of mine, my homie Chris. Chris also, like Mike, lives right down the street from me, so it's been awesome growing up with the fellas and seeing, you know, us develop into these BMW enthusiasts with sweet cars. And honestly, Chris's E36 is one of my favorite 328s out there. It is just such an iconic BMW. It's just got that timeless, iconic look that I absolutely love. Here's some photos that I actually took for Chris on our way over to MPAC. As you know, Chris and Mike, we take that cruise over every year to impact and I absolutely love going to shows with these guys it's awesome to see people coming up to us you know enjoying the builds asking questions and especially with Chris's 320 is everybody loves just the timeless look of the e36 I think it's just awesome because personally I never see these cars like I never see the old style BMWs ever in New Jersey barely ever I mean can't say ever but barely ever but but the four-door sedan is just so rare you never see 328s out there like this and it's just such an iconic car I love shooting this car the red is just popping it's just such a, a timeless look of just such an OEM plus style it's sitting so pretty I absolutely love Chris's 328 and it's just such a timeless look that you know you just gotta respect those elders. So number three on the list has got to be this absolutely epic 
8 series. It's an E31 850i. This car was recently just at SEMA. Cody Groom over at Driving Cody just did a feature film. His episode's on the build on this car. It is absolutely epic. Welcome to another episode of The Build. My name is Cody Groom. Today we have this 8 series by me. Now this thing, oh man, I don't know. Like I got into BMWs because I loved how much they they took to develop the final piece, like the whole package, right? So like when you look at this car, there's little things, like this has got red leather, but BMW. I'll have that link down below if you want to check that out. And seeing this car, you know, on Instagram and on Cody's video, it just, I completely fell in love with just the wide body 8 series. Truly just, as, as you guys can see right here, a one of none build, which is just such an inspiration to take a car and just truly transform it into something no one's ever seen before. You know, it's absolutely goals to have a car being over at SEMA. And this car is just absolutely nuts. Like one of my favorite cars, I think, I've ever found on Instagram. I haven't got to see this car in real life, hopefully one day, but this build is absolutely epic. I mean, just the colorway to take an 850 and do a, a custom wide body kit. Like this car is absolutely insane. And it's truly one of those builds that it's just an inspiration for me because I've had this vision of taking my car and building it into a one of one. I'm still a long way to go to get there with my 235i, but seeing cars like this really just, you know, drives that inspiration and really just drives me to keep pushing forward to build something that people in the car community, people at shows, people in the BMW community truly appreciate and respect. And this car is truly one of those that just brings so much you know not only appreciation for just the build but so much inspiration to just keep pushing to build that one of one for my car So number two on the list has got to be the Keys F80, Brian Kiefer's F80 M3 over at Keys Motorsports. This car has been such an inspiration to me because it's so much more than just the car. It's the story behind it, the people behind it. Brian's been one of my biggest inspirations and pretty much one of my biggest mentors and learning you know how to work on these cars learning just gaining the knowledge of these cars as well as just you know diving into just building my youtube channel as brian has a fantastic youtube channel as most of you do already know brian's been one of my inspirations for a very long time since i got my 235i and i'm so grateful to have learned so much from him as i'm even more grateful to be able to work alongside him and just gain all that knowledge and experience from him but honestly out of all of brian's cars he just recently picked up a g80 which is an absolute beast as well that car is really the car that kind of like sold me on the g80 and you know the big grills are such a hot topic on you know people love them people hate them honestly they've grown on me quite a bit because of brian's isle of man g80 and it just for me i feel like it just fits the grills do just fit the body style it's a bigger body style so the grills are appropriate but even though you know brian has all these sweet cars honestly it's not even his g80 that's my favorite it's 100 the f80 i absolutely love the f80 m3 I think that in like 20, 30, 40, 50 years or whatever, people will talk about the F80 M3 the same way they talk about like the E36s and the E46s that it just has that timeless BMW look that just like never ever gets old and it's just such an iconic BMW that I know I personally love it and I just think it's never going to be an outdated, it's never going to age, it's just going to be you know like just like fine wine car and I absolutely love the individual Ferrari red that Brian has on this F80 and honestly it's just truly not only one of my favorite cars but it's just the inspiration i've gotten from this car from brian's channel all the information and knowledge that i've gotten and learned from brian it just makes me truly appreciate him and all of his cars being that brian has he has some car garage goals he has bmw's four days he's got the 328 the iconic blue the 335i the g80 he's got a bunch of stuff planned and coming that's gonna be i'm really excited for as well as truly my favorite one of his cars is 100 the f80 m3 
So then last, but certainly not least, honestly, my all-time favorite BMW has got to be the M2 Ghost in this epic wide-body F87. So the M2 Ghost is owned by a really cool dude named Matt, who I was lucky enough to meet over at MPAC. He's a really cool, down-to-earth guy, mad genuine, mad humble, which is one of the, the sickest builds I have ever seen. It's one thing to call these cars builds when most people, you know, including myself, I try not to call my car a build just because it's one thing to just slap on aftermarket parts and aftermarket bolt-ons and all that good stuff and it's a whole nother thing to take a car like this and you know fabricate custom parts and really build you know a custom car i mean you guys don't even want to know how much this wide body kit costs it's full carbon fiber so you can take a guess there but to really have a car and then just build a wide body car that not only is a wide body kit but also drives like a wide body this is truly one of my favorite favorite cars ever i mean custom headlights this thing is absolutely just one of the the gnarliest builds I've ever seen lucky enough to take photos of and it was just even better that I got to meet Matt and he was just a really cool humble down-to-earth guy this is one of my all-time favorite photos I mean the photos from impact are just so sweet so I'll throw a couple of the ones that I took up here as well but I absolutely love this car and as you guys can tell by my 235i and the way it is right now I've clearly have taken a lot of inspiration from Matt and his F87 and honestly the best part about this car is just really the story behind it um driving Cody did another feature film one another episode of the build on this specific car and honestly it's just the story behind the M2 Ghost is truly what is I'm honestly the biggest inspiration for me. So Matt had you know, a previous M2 a while ago. Let's see, if I scroll down, he's got tons of pictures. Maybe if I scroll down far enough, I can find some. But he had a previous M2 a while ago that was actually wrecked and caught on fire. And when the fire department came, he started talking to one of the guys in the fire crew. And, and they just started talking. And Matt had mentioned that, you know, that was his car that was on fire. And the guy from the fire department, like, looked at him, like, kind of, like, stunned. And was like, wait, that's your car? Are you a ghost? And he literally asked Matt like, if he was a ghost. And he said that after all of the years working in the fire department, he had never seen a fire that bad that someone was able to walk away from. So like seeing that and then seeing the inspiration behind, Matt had all these plans for this M2 and then, you know, unfortunately it caught in flames and unfortunately it was totaled unfortunately he had to you know let that car go but seeing all that inspiration then being in developed into the new m2 ghost and you know having it be the m2 ghost and what that story is behind the ghost and it's just such a sweet story it's just like never give up just be humble because life is so precious and honestly that story is just always stuck in the back of my mind to just no matter what life throws at you to just like be able to do your best to just like handle the adversity and keep pushing forward and just really just stick true to your dreams and keep pushing forward to just build like the one of none eight series car but this f87 is truly a one of one kind of build like this you never like you see cars like this with wide body kits and whatnot but you never see cars that are just like truly stick out and they're truly just like one of one build like this f87 this is easily my favorite bmw of all time and i'm so grateful to not only have met matt and see how cool of a dude he is but to take photos of his car for myself the story behind it, i could go on and on of just how epic of a story it is and how inspirational of a story that is and honestly this is just easily by far my favorite bmw of all time So I'm going to wrap up today's video about there. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone I talked about. All the five builds that have inspired me and helped me come along to build my vision for my 235i. I appreciate you guys as well as I appreciate everyone who's watched this video and watched all of my videos. We're almost at a thousand subscribers so I very much appreciate that. I'm very excited to hit that milestone. So if you like my videos make sure to give them a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Check me out over at JG Media over on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.